Lois participates in the fun and ends up sinking Clark in the dunk tank. That was a cute moment. And as the two share a wholesome slow-mo moment, Chloe looks uncomfortably. A new triangle has emerged. I like that ending because you... you Yeah. I remember sitting in that dunk tank and just convincing myself there's no way that Erica or Lois is going to be able to... You know what I mean? You just put yourself in that mode so you can be surprised. And then when I got out and, you know, she comes up and I do the hair thing and I was thinking about like what Tom Cruise would do in Top Gun. I don't know. But that was a um, good moment. I like that moment. I really like that moment worked. when you kind of do the thing with your and, hair and it's playful yeah. and cute and you're flirting and she's flirting for, you know, a uh, pseudo high school girl and uh yeah and then chloe watching and then they on cut to chloe it was sad like well so, it's feel, also her yeah. cousin it's weird it's like oh my gosh he wouldn't give me a chance and now he's flirting with my cousin who comes in the town it's kind of like that's it you know i understand her feeling there it's like oh but you know what how about this how about you know he's just not interested in you so don't cock block <laughs> well Highlight- we will get into that next we will get into that in the next episode by the way just highlights like, lowlights uh there weren't Jesus. many highlights for me dunk tank maybe <laughs> But uh, no, honestly, t- I'm going to say Clark catching the ball, Clark catching the ball and dunking. Yes, it. Clark yeah, catching like the that. ball and dunking it. So visuals, mm-hmm. there was there was a good 18 seconds of good stuff. Um, <laughs> I think this probably could be my least favorite episode of Smallville. Wow, it's one of them because everything <laughs> seems just stupid. It's like it's. I love the writers and they're all genius, and I know it's hard. But this is episode three of the fourth season. You know, you should have it shouldn't be good like in episode seven or eight, not episode three. And I just felt like the writing was just all over the place. It was like it nothing made sense. And the fact that someone approved this stuff to me was baffling. Ryan, do you concur? I don't know. (laughs) Uh, I don't know if it all feels stupid. It just felt silly the same like it felt it felt like like we were doing like some season one stuff in season four yeah and i thought we had sort of moved past like in a lot of ways it has moved past that like it feels like um i mean because everyone's getting older and everyone's you know acting chops are like leveled up and it so it feels more mature um and it's also very noticeably like because i watched all the other episodes uh before this too like it's just a lot uh, smokier <laughs> well I, I will say this i will say that the actors all did a good job i really felt like there was fun there they gave life to these scenes they made the material better than it was and uh so i really appreciated that and there were some things that looked good um it just it felt like hey let's make the bad guys really bad as bad as they could possibly be let's everything uh yeah, it was, it just, it. yeah, for some reason, I don't know. Maybe I woke up on the wrong side of the bed, but it was, I watched this. Inauthentic? Tough. I watched it, yeah. It felt like if this was the show to sell Smallville, this show gets canceled after this episode. But, yeah. uh, again, the, the characters I still like, but this definitely, to me, it kind of <laughs> sometimes hurts the characters when stories are so unbelievable. And, um, you know, and I think what really irked me is the fact that the next episode is also a cheerleading episode. It's like back to back crap. 